Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris and welcome to Lego Mini Reviews, the show where I review a ton of different Lego vintage and new sets right here on the Duck Bricks YouTube channel in a short form format. So I have a ton of Brickling orders to get through as well as just associated Lego purchases and I figured instead of making a mega video where I go through every single one that's hours long, why not break it up into separate mini reviews? And so in addition to our normal three videos a week schedule, be be sure to stay tuned for a mini review dropping every single day where we do not normally have a standard video releasing. I hope you enjoy and let's jump right into our first pick. But with that, we have made our way to the penultimate set. This is set number 80035, Monkey Kids Galactic Explorer, retailing for 130 US dollars and featuring a whopping six minifigs. Four of these figures are four of our main heroes. You've got Monkey Kid himself, Mr. Tang, Sandy, and May in space outfits. We previously got Pigsy in a space outfit on the other set, so that's nice to get. We also get a robotic version of the Mo Cat, kind of a space mech version, which is very reminiscent of, again, Space Police 3, which had a robotic dog. We also have two different macaque minions, including one with a massive jetpack on his back. Of course, though, the main, obviously, attraction of the set is this massive, massive spaceship and a bit of a docking station, too. So this is truly fantastic. I am a big, big fan of LEGO Space. We haven't gotten original space stuff in many, many years, as I mentioned earlier in this video. And boy, is this truly a great return to form for LEGO as a truly stunning original LEGO spaceship. So... First of all, let's just get some of this stuff out of the way. We already looked at the spacesuits with the Pigsy figure, so nothing too much else to see here, but I do like the inclusion of a jetpack for MK right here. You can see him with his full jetpack right here, so nice to see that piece being reused from the LEGO City Sky Police theme. Sandy is nice because you can actually put the helmet on him, and he still has his beard on the inside. It does also include the main beard piece and the mohawk if you want to include the helmet off, so it's nice they have the option to do that. May is basically just standard using her heads-up display figure design here. And we also have Mr. Tang with a pair of chopsticks in the bowl because what else would he bring into space? I really also like the design of the robot cat here. Just a very nice and charming, fun, small design. And the minions are obviously very simple, but the jetpack is actually pretty cool. Recoloring these in transparent purple is a really neat design to actually get the cloud piece recolored in purple for jet exhaust. And of course, you have the collectible of the wave flame piece being recolored in purple as well. Moving onwards to the main build though, let's now take a look at the refueling station using an octan tank in the Chinese text, which is kind of a cool design to get a staple of Lego City. And obviously this is very, very simple. Nice to get the roller coaster pieces in teal though, which we will be seeing very shortly in another set. But of course you can retract the station right here and you have a full on rocket to look at. So. What I love about this rocket is that it actually has a lot of space for you to load up minifigures and pretend you're in the process of boarding the rocket. And let me see what I mean by that. So this right here rotates open for interior space. It holds a rover featuring a return of a classic space printed tile. Many classic AFOLs will recognize this piece as one of the most vintage LEGO control panels, so that's really nice to see. Also having storage for a rover in general, just as a classic LEGO space thing in general. You have a bit of a holding space for the collectible of this wave right here in green, so that's pretty cool to see. But what's really awesome is again, you just rotate this back, and there it is, fully sealed up in terms of the spaceship here. On the side of the ship here, you actually have some viewing ports with some space for each of the four figures to sit, which is really cool to see. And of course, this all comes off as well, so you can remove this whole top panel, and there's a lot of interior space, a lot more than I actually was anticipating with a set like this. There are unique stickers for each of the control panels here, so you can see here, you can see uh, the collectible as well right here, some uh, designs here for the control panels. And some more fun ones on this side, someone seems to be playing a video game on this side with the Monkey King Warrior Mech being featured, KOing another villain, as well as a classic Spaceman being referenced right there. A little hard to see, but that is the classic Spaceman on the countertop there. All in all, this is a lot of really nice space included on the interior, even a fire hydrant walkie-talkie for all sorts of different stuff. You can even load the jetpack into here as well, so there's a lot of interior space for a ton of different figures. Four seats here, and of course, you move up to the cockpit. This also obviously opens up, so you can get a pilot as well, so that's five figures, not even mentioning all the interior space you can use to hold other figures 
So all in all, it's just really cool to get so much space inside the ship. And of course, the ship itself is really cool as well. So closing this all up, we can see how this works out as an actual spacecraft. And this, again, is one of the coolest spacecrafts LEGO has done for basically any original theme. I love the transparent red design. These are new in transparent red. These are new in transparent red. So some great recolors here to get. So awesome to see those. Moving along the back here, you have a nice design for the full-on drum lacquered metallic gold printing on the back here. So these are all painted drum lacquered gold, massive jet engines on the back here for the rocket itself. So really nice to see this kind of design. And of course, it stands up straight as well. Of course, because this is a Monkey Kid set, there are some MK style detailing. If you may notice, despite this being a standard classic spaceship, this also has a cloud design, which is very much supposed to evoke the Monkey Kid cloud aesthetic, as well as, of course, the standard teal design that we've seen on other MK sets. All in all, I am very, very pleased with the set. It is probably one of my favorite MK sets ever, certainly one of the best sets of the wave, but only topped by the next set we're about to take a look at. So let's now move on to our next LEGO set. All right, and with that, we have summed up this mini LEGO review. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and do let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this set. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And if you own it, what have been your experiences with building and playing with the set itself? Also, let me know in the comments if you like this format of mini reviews. I'm trying to put them out on a fairly regular basis. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very, very soon.